Today we are headed to Sam's Club for our monthly stock up haul. We're gonna do a little shopping in store together. Then I'm gonna take you home. We're gonna unbox everything and I'm gonna give you all the prices. So before you head on over to your Sam's Club, let me show you what I found this month. All right, here we go. Sam's Club on a Sunday recording. We'll see how that goes, but let's go see what Sam's Club has. Well, you know it's back to school time. They got, oh look at the refrigerator with the American flag, $4.95. That's nice, though. Uh, that would have been nice for the garage. Yeah, they have Dyson Animal. I need a new vacuum. I'm built, but three fifty. This is four ninety five. Microwaves. Got some kids going off to school. One twenty. Cookware set. One sixty. Tupperware. Twenty. So lots of back to school stuff or back to college stuff. Stanley Duke. They're forty two. Twenty dollars each, but they're big. Forty ounces. Those are 40 ounce cups, though. Yeah, they have a lot of beer stuff. I guess it'll probably be depending on your area, which sports team. Well, they got some pillows here. These are 15. These are kind of like indoor outdoor pillows. They got little gnomies that are like 4th of July. I don't see any Halloween stuff just yet. I know Costco has Halloween stuff. But, what are these? I don't know. Fragrance candles. They don't see how much they are, though. Leo's looking for a new grill. Our gas grill is on its last leg. A lot of decorative stuff. A lot of like end of season summer stuff, I feel like. They're trying to clean it out for fall stuff. So if you guys were looking for stuff for like your deck or whatever, I think this, ooh, look at this bar, babe, right here. This is nice. Clearance price, how much? Oh my thousand. Oh, it's big though. Well, it's nice. We're good. Oh, garbage oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, it's a nice spot. Been offered two thousand dollars. Oh wow, for that one. I don't know the deal with these like totes, but I know that everybody has them and they're super popular. They're fifty bucks. They come in red and black. Those ten are bucks. they're ten bucks. They're a bad idea. Don't ever get those. We have those for my kids. A, Horrible idea. A fight starters. $2, yeah, they all fight. Yeah, sprinklers, a lot of, they have still have a lot of pool stuff. Like these crabs are these like pool filter marked down to 11 18. I would think some stuff, I don't know if you guys had like a place like that. These are $96.79. Actually, I should want those from my mom's house. Kiss her all the way off. <laughs> oh, here's another pool and slide for 50. I had these for my girls when they were little. Yeah, I would think a lot of this stuff isn't marked down all that much. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I thought it would be a little bit cheaper. I will say this once and I'll say it again. If you guys are going to have a party, uh, Sam's Club is the way to go. With chips, drinks, stuff like that. They are the cheaper one. Um, we don't need any chips right now. But if you needed them, this would be the spot. Because you get the big bags and stuff like that. And they're pretty, pretty decent. When I've had the parties this summer, this is where I've gone. Also, for like back to school lunches, they have, I mean, I, I know, Twix. yeah, oh yeah, I would mess some of these up, but um, I don't keep these in the house during the summer because they'll eat everything, um, but during the school year, I always pick these things up for their lunches and stuff like that. I'm not going to get them crackers because I feel like we got chips at the house, you know? Oh, we've been really into Gardettos lately. Well, we'll probably get those ones though, the, the lime ones. The girls like those these but they have like the flavored ones my kids love these and I only pick them up they're so cheap they're only five bucks they are really really good they're a little limey a little salty but I rock with them they're very good don't forget to get the scan and go app that's my main reason for enjoying to come to Sam's Club because I'm able to watch my budget with the scan and go app Ugh. These are the lemon bunt cakes. Me and Leo both agree. What are they? 1348? That they taste like the melting bunt cakes. But look at how big they are. They also have key lime pie for 10 bucks. I'm not a, I never think I've I've actually you know what I lied. I had key lime pie one time. And I mean it was okay, but it was like homemade everything. Ooh, look at them brownies. Honey. Oh, oh look at these nice. trays. They're like little pastry trays. These are nice. Breakfast tray, 40 count, 20.98. This would be really nice. You know what, if you are having like a wedding shower or a brunch or if you're having people over to get ready for a wedding, this would be nice to have. 
way cheaper than if you were to get it at like a bakery or something for sure. Well, we didn't get them the last time, so we gotta get them six dollars. We're only getting one now. The six dollars grills pickles. They're six dollars now, they went up a dollar. Dang, they're so good though. Scan and go, baby, scan and go. On a Sunday, scan and go. You gotta do it. So we're running out of meat, so you guys already know. Always getting the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And then they have the 93% lean ground beef, which is really cheap here too, so I always get one pack of that. And then we're gonna get some meat for the house as well. We'll scan and everything just to make it easier. But this is gonna be a major meat stock up. So if you're looking into possibly training with me, and you guys are wondering if this is kind of what I buy um, for like protein sources. Chicken, if you want to do tilapia, salmon, um, and instead of the red meat, you could do that. Um, I might get some lean cut steaks too, because we haven't had any steaks in a while. And I do a lot of burger bowls and stuff like that. Very good, very easy, so. Little bites, that's pre-workout, my friends. Let's go see about some steaks, let me see. Yeah. If you guys were looking to make some menudo, they got it here. $4.98 a pound for some honeycomb tripe. Ugh. Cow's tongue. Yeah. So gross. You can so actually good. see like the taste buds. I can't. It makes me sick. Yeah, like, you guys can see the taste buds. Ugh. Grosses me out. Fuck too. We have sockeye, wild sockeye salmon and $7 off per package. I might get one of these. And then I'll divide it up into a couple meals. That's got the skin yeah, I like cooking it with the skin. I just don't eat the skin. Oh my god, I just almost fell into this thing. Okay, this one's 25. We'll grab this one. Suck eye salmon. So we have got some steak too, so a lot of meat. What you got over there? Chicken wings? Should we get these? A big ass pit. It's seven pounds of wings. Yeah, that'd be actually pretty we'll put good. Put them in the freezer too, so. Damn, this is getting out of hand real quick already. It always does. The kids have a taste for ribs. What are you gonna do? You need some ribs? Yeah. Mm hmm. Maybe we'll get one of them salad kits too. We could have a side salad with them. We didn't pull out anything for dinner, so we're gonna get some ribs. Get the girls some corn to go with dinner tonight. Four ninety eight. It's not too bad. We'll grab one of these. If your kids were big on the prime hydration drinks, they have them here in 1998. I think yeah. those things are so gross. I, Becky likes the blue one. I don't know. I don't think they, I never tried them, but I guess they're like really good actually um, for, for you. I don't know how they taste, but we're going to get the Gatorade Zero because that's 15.98, way cheaper. You already know. My favorite aisle. This no salt lemon pepper is no good. Don't get that one. If you can get the regular lemon pepper with salt, get it. Also, there is um, cane sugar in this, so be warned. I'm not, I don't like the buttery steakhouse. I do like this one, though. If you can't get the, the lemon butter garlic, that one's pretty damn tasty. I'm actually a big fan of all the tenders. Prime steak. I like the Gibson's ones we use, but what else they got here? I don't know. We did try this one, this Bang Bang one. It is very good, but it has a ton of sugar in it. Um... Snickers, Girl Scouts, Thin Mints, all the yummies. These were a new find. These are the bush. I don't, I don't eat baked beans or anything like that, but Leo and the kids love them, especially Leo. And, you know, for like a side with like some protein, I think it would be not a bad idea. So yeah, zero sugar. Um, Can't wait. Do you not want them? Because you don't have to get them. I just thought it would be a nice side for you. No, I don't want them. Okay. Well, if you guys wanted them, they're $9.98. Because he likes like the sh super sugary ones. Trying to give him options. But anyways, $9.98. <laughs> they have this cinnamon pecan nut granola for 15 bucks. Keto. <sighs> Mini kind bars. Oh, this, this is probably like their Sam's Club version of kind bars. These are $12.96. Oh man, that's a pretty good deal. The minis are $7.78 for Rice Krispies. That's off my list, but yeah, that's a pretty good one. I just don't want to get them because the kids will just keep popping them like nothing, you know? I've been trying real hard to be in intentional with the groceries I bring into the house. Because, you know, just there's they still get sweet snacks and stuff like that, but I just don't want the house to be loaded down with junk food. They're starting to come out with their fall scents. Golden pumpkin. 
fall night long. This one smells really, really good. And then they have like their sun things here too. I know some people don't like doing those oil things. I like them, but if you don't, that's cool. But I just want to let you guys know that they do have options. Cleaning supplies is my thing. It brings me happiness. I love for my house to smell freshly clean. Like Pine Sol, the original. My guy is my favorite. I just seen some guy do a TikTok about these shoes, talking about how short they are. And I agree, they're 40 bucks and I think they are so nice. They even have like these heavy bowel waterproof boots. I should get a pair of these for my dad for Ireland. Look, they're only $35. Do you think he would like them? Or he kind of has boots like this, right? Do you think? Uh, I have some idea. My red. Rhea just, they're going to Ireland, they're going to do a lot of hiking, so Rhea just bought some boots. And I was thinking, yeah, I should buy some for my dad. I wonder if he would want some. I feel like he has shoes like this. I want to say he does. Yeah. They also have the chunk bells, 15 bucks. You want some chunk bells, babe? Some new ones like this? I want the ones that are younger are the ones that you guys Oh my boots. god. Oh. Hmm. I, I don't remember that. Sorry. Sorry about that. Don't remember. Don't remember that. You guys remember that? We don't remember that. We're moving on. I figure we'll take a stroll by the clothes here. They have these tie-dye shorts here for 15 bucks. These are kind of cute. They have them in pink, purple, and black. You guys want to see. They're pretty thick too. They'll be good for the winter. Or like the winter. You know what I mean. They have all sportsy stuff here. They have denim skirts for DKNY. Here. Yeah. I think they're 15. Very cute. They have them in dark wash and light wash. Midwise denim skirt. I kind of want one. I wonder what size I would be. I think that would be a 10. These are kind of cute, right? I don't know. I might get one. I think these are kind of cute. They have a lot of fall fashion here already. Like dress the work slacks from 14. They have 9 West pull on jeans for 16. Um, I didn't end up getting that skirt, but I just tummyless skinny seven jeans. These are $17.98. That's nice. They have in different shades, different hem styles. Very nice for 18 bucks. Seven was like seven jeans were expensive back in the day. They got gap long sleeve cardigans. These are 18. And then they have these dresses. They're like utility dresses from Gap. You guys can see the picture. These are 19. Gap t-shirts for 10. I can't believe Gap sold here now. It's so crazy. Look at these. Gap Fit Performance Joggers. These are 18. They feel like scrub pants. Very, very light. They have them in just blue, gray, and then again in black. These are very nice. And soft wash everyday t-shirts. These are $12. Alright, they have the Tatcha. Deep cleanse, it's $32.98. Oh, I, would, I would get this, but the way my children are set up, they would use it all. They also have the Basha. One for it, one's 50. Or, I'm sorry, 21, 21, not 50. Girl. They have this here, V for 18. Neutrogena Hydro Boost. That one's 45. The Tatcha Water Cream for 50. I don't need any of this stuff, but I want it at the same time. I'm gonna be, oh, they have a at home waxing kit for 43. Got a little mirror here. That one's 35. Oh, here, Alka Seltzers. Leo's looking for these Mexican Alka Seltzers he likes, but we can't find them. Alrighty, we got our, look, these came in, and these were my favorite cereals when I was a kid, and my mom never wanted to buy them, so I always pick them up when they come out for my kids. But we're stocking up, filling up the freezer, because we ran down our protein this month. But I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think we did that bad, and we got a ton, 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 ton of meats. So what is your guess here? We got a lot of protein, don't forget. So got some beverages, looking good. All right, I'll see you at home, and we'll unload it, and we'll give a price breakdown, and I'll show you what I picked up. So first thing we're going to do is start off at the table, and then I'll move on over. I'm going to give you kind of like a rough estimate of prices. Obviously, prices probably vary by location. 
But yeah, and so probably so do the items, right? But anyways, we're gonna start off. I got these mini cucumbers. Me and the kids have been loving these just for snacking. Um, we just dip them in a little fat-free Italian or the kids just eat them by themselves. Just a nice little snack. And these were on like instant savings for $2.98. I got a thing of these Special K bars. Leo and the girls love these. They're kind of like very thin um, Pop-Tarts. Anyways, these were $10.98. I got these for the girls. Um, they like to have these. They're like um, kind of like a, uh, it's like on a shortbread cookie and they have like marshmallows on top with sprinkles. The girls love them. They have like coconut flakes. But I think these were like six bucks and I get them and they last forever. And the girls bring them. My mother-in-law comes, my father-in-law, they love them too. I got a thing of bananas. I believe these were $169. A thing of Grillo's pickles that were six bucks. Grillo's are the best. I also got these little like petite dill pickles. These were five dollars. I just like to have these a snack on. We got the El Milagro tostadas. These were five bucks. We just like to have them. The girls eat them a little bit of lime and salt, or we'll eat them with a meal. I got a box of the Velveeta shells and cheese. These are like just for sides. Obviously, it's going to last me for, these usually last me quite a while. Um, the girls aren't like huge mac and cheese people, but if we have it maybe once or twice a month, they'll have it. And we're going to have ribs tonight, so I thought like mac and cheese would be a nice little side for them. And this whole box, it's eight boxes and it was $10, so I felt like you couldn't beat that. Um, some people like the craft shells and cheese. I think the Velveeta ones are better. I got the Monster Cereal. Did you use my perfume? Maybe. Stop, Becky. Jeez. <laughs> um, the Monster Cereal, this was $8, and it comes with the Frankenberries, the Boo Berries. The, this is a new one, Carmella Creeper, and Count Chocula. I love cereal, and these were like my favorite when I was a kid, and my mom never bought them, so I always pick them up for my kids. Um, I got the Little Bites. I have these before I go to the gym. These are the cake ones. They're really good. These were... $10 for 20 pouches, which is really good because they're usually like $6 for the little four pack box. So I would try to pick those up. Um, this was a new find for us. This is the Seltzer, Seltzer Aid. So it's tart cherry limeade, pink raspberry pink limeade, and blood orange limeade. And this was $8. Also, if you wanted to try that Kim Aid, the Alani New collab with Kim Kardashian, they had it there and there was like a 12 pack for $17. Um, yeah, I, I tried, I'm trying to stay off the energy drinks right now, so um, I didn't get any. I got a case of Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. This was $10 just to have in the house. We'll leave it in the basement in the refrigerator down there. I got the girls a thing of Red Beer and Deep Dish Pizza. It's just a little snack for throughout the day. These were 15 These 15 or I think they were 13 actually. Picked those up. Got a thing of these all red churro chips. I like to have these when my dad comes. He likes to eat these. These were only two bucks. Um, I got a thing of blueberries. These were $4. I got a pack of pasture-raised brown eggs. These are 18 of them, and these were $5. I got a case of Gatorade Zero. Um, this was, I believe, $15, but they're the big 20-ounce bottles, so I thought that was a good deal. I got a couple salad kicks. I got this kit, snack kicks. Uh, kit, kicking Buffalo Ranch Chop Kit. This was $3, and I got two of these Southwest Crunch Salad Kits at $3. We're also going to have this on the side for dinner tonight. I got a thing of lemon butter garlic uh, seasoning from Kinder's. These were $5. I got my pack of avocado cups. Um, these were $8. I like to have these because I love fresh avocado, don't get me wrong, but it, it goes too quickly. And I just got these to keep in there. Healthy fats. I got these for the kids just to have at the house. These are the um, little chips. This kid is literally right next to me as I'm hauling just to see what I got. But <laughs> these were five dollars. You would say you're gonna go monthly shopping for like two months. <laughs> All right, so here is the meat part. So I got three packs of the boneless, skinless chicken thighs, guys try these i always like i said i always cut off all this like white skin here um and i season it with that lemon pepper sauce and put it in the air fryer 375 for 20 minutes perfection um these were three how much are these a pound 220 328 which is a really good deal so i got three packs of those if you guys are going to do instead of doing the chicken breast because it gets i know it's dry i don't care what your recipe is try the boneless skinless chicken thighs it'll change the game for you i promise 
but yeah um they were one was 12.50 they were all around like 12 dollars 12.56 12.40 and that one was like 12 something i got a three pack of bacon this is just pork bacon this is ten dollars i put this in the rice when i make it it's something good to have in the fridge or i could dress up a meal and stuff like that for the kids and leo now i did get this big thing of ground chuck this is 80 percent lean 20 percent fat now i don't eat this because it's not lean enough for me um, but my family does, right? So um, I'm gonna break, divide this up into a few meals. This was 378 a pound, it was $36 for this. But now I'm a family of five, essentially a family of four because I'm, like I said, I don't eat this. Can you give me some space, please? Thank you. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna bring this, break this up into threes, into like thirds. And one's gonna be for burgers, One's gonna be for red sauce, like I can chop it up and put it in like red sauce and they could have like a spaghetti. And another one's gonna be like ground beef tacos. And that's three meals for 36 bucks. And I thought that was a really good deal. So I'm gonna break that up right now. Another thing we got, this was $8, but it's the pork chorizo. And Leo's mom just sent some beans. So he wants to have that with beans. We can have chorizo and eggs. You can do chorizo tacos, you know, it's really limitless but they're already perforated and there was a six links so um and these last forever as well what i got for myself for my fattier cut of meat i got the sack sockeye salmon with skin on um, i just put this in the oven or you can throw it on a grill and you can get like little cedar planks and do it that way this was 25 dollars. it was 11.98 a pound but this was seven dollars off the package so i only paid what 18 bucks for this so and it looks really good so i'm gonna have that leo bought some jalapeno poppers for him and the kids these were 1867 they love these and sometimes it's just easier to do it by them like that i got the uncured turkey bacon this was ten dollars um it's pretty good i'm not gonna lie guys um the last time i felt like it spoiled before i could finish it but i'm wondering if that was just a random case but we'll see um it says goodbye August 21st, so I should be able to eat it all, hopefully, um, by then. So picked that up, like I said, 10 bucks. I got my 93% lean ground beef, and I eat like either, for one meal a day, I'll either have ground beef, salmon, or some like a lean steak. So I've been doing like burger bowls, or I can do a burger patty and do like a bumless burger with like a lettuce wrap, which I think I might do. And these were $4.78 a pound, which is a steal. It's usually somewhere around $7 a pound in my area, and I paid $15.92 for this three-pack. And again, it comes perforated, and I only usually cook one pound at a time. So I got that. And then this is another one. We're going to have this for dinner probably this week. This is the El Pastor meat. You just literally throw it in a pan, sear it up, and throw it on some tortillas. Or you can throw them on the tostadas, and it's an easy meal, and it's really good. Everybody loves it. This is $4.18 a pound, and I paid $13.38, and it's a family favorite here. I got a watermelon for 7 bucks. We love watermelon. I'm telling you what, I don't have much of an appetite in the warm weather. I can literally just eat watermelon all day long, and that'll be it, and I'll be completely fine. Um, another thing I got was some sirloin tip steaks. These were $5.48 a pound. I paid $18 for them. They are nice and thick as well. So we can cut them up and get a couple meals, probably two meals out of them. And I thought that would be kind of good. And then we bought some ribs. These are some pork baby back ribs. Uh, these are a little bit under eight pounds, $2.98 a pound. We paid $22.20 for the rack of ribs. I bought these um, English cucumbers. These were $1.98. They were on instant savings as well. Picked those up. I got some ears of corn. These were $4.00. And again, for a side for dinner. And then for the freezer, we did some chicken wings. They were $1.98 per pound, $14.20. Chicken wings are ridiculously expensive. And I thought I got a really good deal on them. So lots of protein, lots of vegetables, a little bit of, you know, shelf-stable items. But um, usually for, like, fresh produce, I do pop into, like, our local market weekly. And I'll get, like lettuce or tomatoes whatever it is that we need around the house but um this protein should last us probably until i would say the second week of august and then i'll go right back again and repurchase some more but i feel like i got a really great deal for me a bulk of my grocery budget always goes to protein just because we're a big family um i eat a lot of protein a day and so does my husband so we try to keep it 
Like I said, that's where a lot of the bills come from. And yeah, so anyways, this is my haul. I didn't really see a lot of fun stuff there. I didn't get any like extras. I'm really trying to minimize my budget. Now, what do you think our grocery bill was this month? I actually came in under budget. Are you guys ready? What are you thinking? You got a number in your head? It was $422. That is what we spent this month in Sam's Club. I'm going to put this stuff up. Cut up that watermelon, throw it in the fridge because it's 90 degrees outside. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, friends.